brothers and sisters, I don't know if it's brothers and sisters. Pardon? Yes. Yes. And as you can see, it is a male figure, a very obvious male figure, and a very obvious female figure. And it is bronze, it is solid bronze. And you really cannot move this baby. It's um, quite a wonderful piece. And a little bit about him. He grew up at the beginning of the Dada movement. And these were a group of artists, Andre Breton uh, was one of them, and there were many others who started with that group and then they fell off. They, if you may remember, they picked their name from a dictionary one day when they were all kind of drunk and gone without sleep, etc. They went through a dictionary, and I'm serious. <laughs> and what's the name? Dada. And that became a, a name of a very valid, important art movement in France. And it was made up of very intelligent artists, men, women. Many of them did the kind of drawing that was called automatic drawing, usually in a state when they were, maybe had gone without sleep for two weeks on purpose. Maybe they had taken too many drugs on purpose but they would take a pen and they would almost close their eyes and they would automatically draw on a piece of paper or sometimes a canvas with a brush. Many of them were writers as well. And Andre Masson was part of that group. And <clears throat> eventually he did leave the group, but it was part of that movement. And I have to tell you, I don't really know how to more because this was just put here. So I'm making apologies and I'm sorry. Alexander Lieberman is back there, the brightly colored. Thanks for coming in, sir. We're done, Carol. How many years? Yeah. Absolutely. I, I mean, as long as I was there. You're absolutely right. This is Alexander Lieberman. I hope so, Carol. This uh, you can good. certainly see his name. Alexander Lieberman did it in 1981. He was born in Russia, and actually his father had a very important job working in some area of the government. He got wind of things that were happening in Russia, and he was allowed to leave. So he, his wife Tatiana, talk a little bit more maybe. You know about Tatiana, okay. Um, and Alexander left. They went to London first. And then they came to New York. He did not start out as a sculptor. He started out as an art editor, writer, critique person. He didn't turn to sculpture until he was almost in his 50s. He did paint, but he did not do sculpture right away. During all of this part of his life, in terms of being an artist, he was the art director of... Condé Nast. Condé Nast, which is very Condé Nast, Nast a Vogue magazine, mm -hmm. for 33 years. He is held the position, Alexander Lieberman, he held the position longer than any other art editor for Vogue. And he still did all of his artwork. His wife, oh, okay, let's go back to the material. He used found material. It is steel, and he used very, um, he used products that were from architecture, or that were used in building generally, pipes, I-beams, um, sewer covers, things like that. And he would cut them into the shapes and then weld them as you see them now. The sizes were not normally this size. Basically, this is what he called his maquette, his model. Because <laughs> I, don't, I haven't seen a lot of his work here. I come from Chicago. And I cannot tell you, you're from Chicago. Okay. Yeah. Um, how about um, oh, the one in Deerfield? 
It's in Deerfield, the big gallery. There are about five Alexander Liebermans as you drive in. So we kind of made fun of him at the museum. I was at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Chicago. We kind of made fun of Alexander Lieberman and referred to him as the shopping plaza <laughs> sculptor. Uh. Uh, and so, but that's Alexander Lieberman. Anyway, he came here to the United States with Tatiana. She got herself a job at um, Sachs, if I remember correctly. I don't know. And a big, maybe Bendel's. She was a very important, famous hat designer. So the art world, they were together. He continued, as I said, to do his work. He uh, came to Miami. And he died, actually, in Miami in his, in his 90s. He had a studio down in the up-and-coming Linwood Fair area. The, all the work of Alexander Lieberman that I've ever seen, whether it is in books or in person, and I've seen a lot of them, are always one color. Just one color. Blue, hot blues, green. He's not afraid of color. But he never mixed color. Is that just in the sculpture? Or I'm sorry? Is it just in his sculpture, but also in his paintings? No, he used color in his paintings. Just but not as much either. That's a great question. That's a wonderful question. Thank you. My name is just, did the sure. base come with yes. the base? Uh, I guess the case had it. I don't happen to like it. <laughs> Terrible thing. I think it kind of should be a little lower. And I, I don't like it. Sorry? I agree with you. I think if it was low, it would be more mistaken. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, that's Alexander Lieberman. So, let's go over here. 